morning everyone. We are at First Watch, mom and I having breakfast and we just came from a really fun and exciting meeting and then we decided to have some breakfast. Afterwards, I will fill you guys in on the car, but we just got this healthy turkey. It's like an egg white omelet with um, some like veggies, some toast, and then the best coffee ever. So good morning, we're starting a new vlog and, and mom says hi. Okay guys, so I wanted to just quickly hop on here because this is what I've been working on for the majority of the morning. Um, after breakfast, we came home and we've just been sorting through all of these clothes for back to school and a lot of these things are st things that we brought back from our leg house that we're trying to organize. We just have like bags and bags of stuff and I'm starting to put everything for me in duffel bags. This is how I transport my clothes back and forth. Some of these things are new. Um, most of the stuff's Elizabeth. This stuff over here is mine. We're all keeping everything in Claire's room which is good. Um, that's like some garbage right there. So yeah, I have just, this is what I've been doing with my mom, trying on new clothes putting together piles and then starting to put things away in duffel bags um, for us to take. And then I will give you a little update in a little bit. Okay, so I wanted to take a quick break from like organizing everything and kind of packing to show you guys some PR that showed up. So as you guys know, um, at like the beginning of the summer, I want to say around Memorial Day, I worked with Steve Madden and then I got some more shoes sent to me and then randomly a huge box of fall shoes just showed up at my door um, and didn't even pick anything out. They just sent these to me, which is insane. So I wanted to show you guys the new styles that I got for the fall. Okay, so I just set you guys up on my bed. I'm also um, in the process. I just put like a little bit of makeup on. I'm going to finish my makeup later because we're about to leave because I have a photo shoot at 3 o'clock downtown at the same location that we did our video shoot for. For the fourth line of merchandise, it is a holiday centered around holiday themed. So I'm gonna be pretty much in the same outfits, but this time we're just shooting everything. Oh, this is crooked. Um, with the products. So last time we didn't have the products, it was just a video shoot, and then this time we do have the products and we're shooting with a photographer instead of a video crew. So that's in a little bit. I like just put concealer and mascara on and then when I get down there I'm going to add some bronzer. But before I left I wanted to show you the shoes that Steve Madden sent me because it's so nice that they decided to send me some more fall shoes. So the first pair I am obsessed with. Look at these boots. They are insane. I love the chunky platform, the chunky heel. I love this color and I like how it's like that sweatery material so you it really stays secure on your foot. I think they're gonna look really cool with like some straight leg jeans or boyfriend jeans and like a big chunky sweater. I'm so excited about that. So this shoe will be linked down below. My top is from J. Crew. They are my favorite tops ever. They're the little cashmere sweater tops. I think I've talked about these before in a vlog, um, but you feel like you're wearing a sweatshirt. So the second shoe that they sent me was a booty. Um, love this, definitely for like dressing an outfit up. And I like how the heel is thicker and it's darker on the front, as you can see, and then I like the lighter heel. So these are adorable, again, perfect for dressier outfits. And then the last pair of shoes from Steve Madden are probably my favorite. How fun are these? It's another heel, but it like combined the two styles of the boot and the booty, and they are this gorgeous white color, and this is gonna be such a statement piece. This is even gonna be perfect for like the winter time, um, like a winter white. So I, that really made my day, getting those shoes sent to me from Steve Madden. All of the styles will be linked down below and Steve Madden has such amazing comfortable shoes for back to school and for the fall time as you can obviously see. So, so exciting to just get this big box of shoes delivered to my doorstep. Also, Necessaire sent me some more of their amazing products which is such a treat. This is like the third time they've sent me some items and it's more exciting than the last so I am so happy to receive some more of their new products. I'm gonna go grab those so I can show you guys and talk to you about them. I ran downstairs to get the necessary packages. So I had a code for you guys like a couple flash sales ago, but I don't know, this lighting, I'm gonna lose it. But I don't think I got a code this time. I think I only get codes when they're sales. Here's the box from Necessaire. Um, I got their body essentials kit first, and then they sent me their new body serum and lotion that goes along with it when they redid the formula and then that's when I had the code and then that's when I had the sale. Now I'm getting sent their shampoo and conditioner. Also, I am completely out of breath from running up my stairs. Concerning. I am so excited. All of the necessary stuff I'm taking to school with me. So I got the shampoo and conditioner. So excited to try these out and see how I like them and how well they work. Um, I will be totally honest with you guys when I use it. I pulled out all my boxes because if you guys followed me before, at the very beginning of the summer, I bought a huge box of necessary stuff. And then like a few weeks later, they reached out to me and I started working with them. So I've gone through 
through all of that big box that I first ordered and I loved all the products. I never ordered the shampoo or the conditioner um, and then obviously they like redid the body serum. So I have all, like I have, I'm looking at my boxes right now that I'm taking to school. So it's going to be nice because I will have all new necessary products. Um, so there will be links down below for these products as well. Definitely check it out and I will keep you guys posted about how I like the shampoo and conditioner. I have really, really thick coarse hair and so I'm super like, not picky, but just specific at what I like to use for shampoo and conditioner. So that is the PR that I've gotten so far recently. Um, also update on the Instagram. I still don't have it back. Today is when Thursday. Oh my God. Thursday, August 11th, I want to say. Um, and I got hacked on Friday, so it's going to be almost a week to tomorrow. But um, my dad did call me, and we have, we were able to get in contact with someone who works at Facebook through somebody else. So they're going to reach out and see if they can kind of um, help me. So that's the update for now. I still don't have an Instagram, but we're going to continue to blog. So I'm going to leave. I need to pack a quick little bag for my photo shoot, and then I also need to organize my room. We are stopping back here before we go back up to our lake house after the photo shoot. So I have like a minute to get things in order, but. My room's a wreck, Claire's room's a wreck, Elizabeth's room seems to be in order. Maybe I'll prop you guys up and do a time lapse, um, and then we'll go from there. And obviously I will do behind the scenes of the photo shoot. And we're doing it with our favorite photographer, Amanda, she's amazing, she shot, um, happy to be here line and then she also did my 21st birthday we used two different photographers both are amazing but we're using manda today so i'm gonna clean this up and then i will talk to you guys after that okay so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to show like a full back to school haul until i'm like maybe at school or what the deal is so i figured as i was just cleaning up i would show some um, new stuff that has come in recently. So I ordered some new tennis shoes for like walking around campus. I wanted something different. So I ordered these Vejas, but they're like full on tennis shoes. Um, and what I love about these, I've already tried these on and they fit great. I love the white laces and they just look like updated and different. So comfortable. I got these in a seven and a half. I went up like a half size and they fit perfectly. So I'm really excited about these shoes. And then I did order a new pair of white ultra boosts because I usually wear NMDs, but I'm just like over the NMDs and these can also be good for white walking, running, everything like that. So these are two pairs of shoes that I got. Okay, and then I also got these really fun pair from Adidas and I saw these on a blog and I ordered them just because I wanted to try them out. Um, I love how they have like this hound's tooth at the back and it's a pop of pink and then it kind of has this stripe at the front um, and then it has a big Velcro over it. Super cute, tried them on and they're just fun. Like they're definitely something different but still kind of me, you know what I mean? So I don't know, I just thought they were cute, fun for back to school, we'll see how much I wear them. I definitely think that they're like a statement piece and you could dress them up or dress them down, wear them with like a cool athleisure outfit. So these are the three pairs of tennis shoes that I'm taking to school this year. Definitely wanted to show you guys before everything got started and I will obviously leave links. And then I did um, in fact buy some new jewelry. This is the only thing that has arrived yet. I've ordered a lot more from Adina's Jewels and then a few things from Bobble Bar, but J. Crew Factory has some really cute pieces of jewelry, so I wanted to show you guys what I got. The first are these just little tiny baby earrings, if this focuses. Super cute little diamond. Then I also got some studs. I just thought these were fun. They are like a wishbone, I want to say. Could be wrong. And this is from J. Crew Factory, and this is just a really cute layering piece. I had one at the beginning of the summer from Walmart, but I just wanted a nicer one because I ended up wearing it a lot more. And then I got these um, two sets of bracelets. I could see myself wearing this one a lot right here. And then like this if I'm dressing some outfits up. And then the last piece of jewelry that I got was this bracelet. And it's an evil eye bracelet from J. Crew Factory as well. And I love the little pop of color. The blue's really sweet. And again, I will layer these. And then I also have these two bracelets. Oh my god, the self-tanner is never ending. It's a little better this time, you guys, you have to admit. But I wear these two bracelets every single day. I just wanted to add more to my stack. So I think all these pair really well. And then, like I said, I'll show you the rest of the jewelry when it all comes in. Okay, I came in Claire's room because here's some more jewelry that we ordered. This really cute um, necklace is from J. Crew Factory, I think. Everything's from, all the jewelry's from J. Crew Factory, even though it says J. Crew. Then we got these two bracelets. These are from Coco and Lola, which are really cute. I love the bright colors. And then we also got more of these bright colored bracelets from Crew Cuts. This is from the kids section at J. Crew Factory. And then Elizabeth got an evil eye bracelet as well. So this is a good tip because they have some really bright, colorful bracelets in the kids section and you wouldn't even think of it. Okay, as you can see, the room is still kind of um crazy and it's just gonna be hard for me to like 
most of the new stuff is already packed i will say so um i will this thing just came in i'll show you this this is something that i can show you because we just got it here today so it was right on the top and i thought you guys would like it it's this new skirt from free people and um i love how it has like two layers of ruffles and then i think the print is really cute this is going to be great for the very beginning of school and I just think it's really cute. So there will be a link, of course. Um, so everything else I will just gradually show in my vlogs and when I'm back at school wearing my outfits. Um, and maybe as I'm unpacking, I can kind of like pull some stuff out. But I showed you guys the shoes, um, showed you some PR. That is all the jewelry that I have gotten thus far. And then when the rest of the things show up, I will get that. Um, I do have some things downstairs, like my agenda I can show you and a few other small pieces that I ordered for the apartment that I think you would really like. So I'll try to, maybe I'll go downstairs and do that right now. I'm going to finish cleaning my room. Most of the stuff I just put in my closet and I just need to put some clothes away. And then I think we're going to leave soon for the photo shoot because it's getting kind of close. There are a million things going on right now in our house. And this morning we had a meeting at 9 o'clock. We drove back from our lake house to home because we had a meeting with a printing company, which went very well and they can pretty much do everything that we need them to do which is fantastic because we've been on a hunt for quite a long time like we've worked with different printing companies but we want them to do two specific things and today we met with two very nice people and they were able to do it for us so that was what we did before we went to breakfast then we went to breakfast and then have just been like go 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 all day getting ready for everything we had to take my car to the dealership my old car um and turn it back in so I like drove that with my mom came back just like a bunch of random stuff that we had to do so i'm gonna finish cleaning this in my room packing my bag for the photo shoot right here pretty much packed like a little prep bag like makeup and stuff my brush for the photo shoot so i just put all that in here so that is ready to go and then this stuff i'm just gonna like leave out on my desk oh flonase which is a huge back to school essential i get horrible sinus infections and i'm really trying to avoid it this year just with everything going on so loaded up on Flonase. Okay, so I'm downstairs in my basement now because we went to Target the other day and I just got, picked up a few more things for my, sorry, the lighting is really weird. Picked up a few more things for my apartment for this year and I really wanted to show it to you because it's all from Target. So if you guys wanted to go, well, most of it's from Target, I'll show you what's not. So if you wanted to go for back to school for your apartment, you're living in a dorm, whatever the case, here's some inspiration. So. The kitchen, we don't have a kitchen anymore because my roommate from last year, she was in charge of the kitchen, so she obviously when she moved out like took all of her stuff. So I think people are bringing pots and pans. We did buy, oh shoot, we bought dishes. Where are the, di I'll find the dishes and I'll show you the dishes. But I got new um, drinking glasses. I thought these were really, really cute. I just think these are really, really cute from Target and they were like $2, so perfect for a dorm or an apartment, anything like that. So I got a bigger size and then I got four of those because that's all they had and then I got a smaller size, four of those. I also think these will be really cute for iced coffee as well. Um, so that's the first thing. Then I got a colander. I don't know, just picked it up. It was like a dollar. Then I got some measuring utensils. I did get an ice cube tray because last year I was buying bags of ice like every single week and I figured I should probably just start making ice myself. Even though I'll probably end up buying the bags, I think this is just good and it was cute. Then I got an actual measuring cup. Next I have this really cute um, pencil case. This is from a boutique. It's from All She Wrote in Chicago, but I just still wanted to show you guys because it was over in my pile, so I have those. Picked up some gold weights from Target because I have like a mat but the gym it has weights but it has like intense weights in my apartment and we're not intense weights so I just got regular weights I think they're like three pounds um, and they're really cute then I got this rosé all day book this is also from all she wrote which was the store that we went to in Chicago so I'm gonna add that to my bar cart then I got a new mug from Target I just wanted like an updated initial mug it's really cute has a black e and then i like the black rim then i got some gray oven mitts kind of boring but all i could find then i got some gray kitchen towels um, because we needed some new ones these look really cute love to see that go with the apartment and knife and cutting board set so this is perfect it's just a white cutting board and then we have two knives if we need more we'll go out and get it again there's a huge walmart in oxford this is just kind of like the basic stuff that i figured we'd need and a lot of the stuff at target was cute so the pink one and then a baby black one then i just got one gold baking sheet because they only had one gold one and i wanted the gold one and again we can pick up a few more if we need them or i'll just order some more on target so got that and then i also got these really cute pens from a target as well although i have a bunch of pens at school and then we also got pens from all she wrote in 
Chicago, but these are cute and I'll put them in my pencil case. So this is just like a mini haul. So I'm going to put this stuff away and then there's some, a few other things that um, I want to show you guys that I have purchased for back to school for my apartment. A couple other random things that I just thought were cute. We also got four new placemats. I'm pretty sure these are from Target and they're pink, really cute for the apartment. This was from the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but I got a tea kettle because we didn't have one last year and I kind of made tea a lot. It's really, really cute and I can use this for a while. So this is from Nordstrom and I will leave a link down below. Oh, this is really fun. Okay, this is from Amazon. I took it out of the box so you can kind of see. They are these utensils and as you can see, they're like pink and gold. This is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna leave this out on our kitchen. So it is, it's so cute, you guys. And obviously I'll take all the plastic off and like arrange it better, but you get the general idea. And this was from Amazon. So I wanted to leave a link and also it could totally be like a cute present if someone just moved into like a new place because look at the packaging, it's adorable. So this is a lot of more kitchen products that we have taken care of and I just think it's darling. Then we got a new furry rug for my bedroom and then we also have a new white rug coming for the living room because last year got trashed. So we're taking that out. That's not coming until like the first week of school. So we'll just like put it down ourselves. But this is for my bedroom. And then last but not least, I did want to show you guys the agenda slash planner that I'm using for this year. Um, I last year used the day designer and absolutely loved it. I can't remember if the year before I used the day designer as well, but wanted to get another one this year because it went over so, so well. And I mostly just keep everything on my iPad and my computer. And then I take notes and write everything down in my agenda. Okay, this is what it looks like. I don't wanna take it fully out of the wrapping because I still have to like pack it and travel with it. But I love this blue pattern. I think Elizabeth and I got the exact same planner because we were both just obsessed with how darling it is. And it's like piped in gold. So we also got these adorable job kits for back to school. These are from All She Wrote, which is the boutique in Chicago. Um, we always like to get new job kits just to like keep things clean and organized. And these are our favorites. Okay guys, so we're in the car right now and we're heading down back to the same place that we were at last week for our video shoot. So if you guys saw that video, uh, so if you guys saw that video, we're going to the exact same spot and we're pretty much taking all the pictures in, hi mom. Hi. And hi Elizabeth. Hi. How is everyone? So we're pretty much taking the pictures in the same outfits. We have a few other pieces. And then, this is the other part that I forgot to mention, we are going to take our family Christmas card picture. So Elizabeth got ready, Claire's gonna meet us down there, and we're all gonna, it's just gonna be the three of us and maybe like individual pictures. So we're taking a Christmas card picture. So we're really getting a lot done. We are just hacking it We are in. hacking it yeah. in. I was explaining to them everything that we did today. Yeah. Um, and we have been running around like chickens with our heads cut <laughs> off. <laughs> Little gerbils. Um, but I'm really excited for this photo shoot and to see our photographer, she's so great. And she actually, her job, like her corporate job is to do product shots pretty much. So it really works out well because she gets really creative when she's using our products and like showing them in so many different ways, creative ways. All right, so we're gonna head down there and I will talk to you guys once we have started the photo shoot. Doesn't care, I don't get paid enough for this. Behind the scenes of um, our photo shoot and carrying a wreath and I a million things in my hand. Are we taking the elevator or? Oh, there's more stuff out there though. Thank you. <laughs> it's like literally a gajillion degrees out. It's probably 90, yeah. 95 it's degrees easily out. 106. It's so hot and <laughs> it's like honestly like 60. <laughs> it's what? This is the room that we've been filming in for everything. Room, video shoot. Oh, Elizabeth, they have iced tea for us. This is great. This is good stuff. The okay. smell is so comforting. It is a comforting smell. So, they're all my clothes. This isn't even most of it. They're getting a cart to bring everything up. My wreath. Oh, and she's already, she's already, she's already, I'm already taking a break. Got the iced tea going. So, we were here for, from nine to five last week. Hopefully, we can just do this in like an hour and a half. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I do like this. Um, Hi guys. So we are here taking, I just kind of take the camera whenever I feel it, but we are taking some photos for the new line, which I think you're aware. Hey. Um, and I'm wearing a green dress for the Christmas card. I feel like they're listening to me. I got my hair cut the other day and literally three quarters of an inch, but it feels so good, so fresh. And here are my shoes. 
sit down for this. I feel like everyone will love these. They're from Kate Spade. I actually wore these for prom. Very, very comfortable shoes. All right guys, so we just finished the photo shoot, which went so well. It was actually like pretty relaxing. And um, we got all of the product shots that we have right now. Some we still are waiting to come in, but we're so like ahead of schedule that we'll just kind of shoot those extra pictures. And then we did in fact get, the lighting's really weird. We did get a Christmas card picture for the fam, which is so exciting. And Amanda is such an amazing photographer. We love working with her. And um, yeah, now that we can check that off our list. So we're heading back home. We're gonna unload the car put all the products away and then grab our stuff and Elizabeth and I are probably gonna drive in the car separately and we're all gonna go to the, our lake house which is really fun I don't know what we're doing for dinner but we don't know yet we don't know it's gonna be an adventure and then um yeah that's pretty much all I have for right now the dashboard is so much better I love it Okay, so we are at this winery now and we just ordered some flights of red and white wine and then some food and we're gonna enjoy our evening. We've been trying wines, we're eating a little bit of salad, we're having some hors d'oeuvres. This is the Chardonnay that I just brought out for mom and I, so yummy. Okay, happy Friday. We're all having a little late lunch. We just got this really good like hummus and veggie bagel sandwich. Mom got a salad. Ebeth got the same thing as me. She kind of wanted an Asiago bagel, but you know what? We're working through it. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I always have regret after I order stuff. Um, but happy Friday. I will catch up with you guys in the car. Okay, after lunch, we just went to our favorite coffee shop and grabbed a little afternoon pick-me-up. This is our cold brew. You guys got iced tea, but I love their coffee. And now we're gonna drive home. Okay, happy Friday, everyone. I'm actually vlogging in the boat club right now. So we are at dinner with mom and dad. Elizabeth had a party, just got some Moscow mules. Hi guys. Hi. It's good to see you. Hi, Terry. <laughs> and yeah, we're just having some drinks. We're gonna order. Our grandparents are actually right over there. Maybe I can get them. They're right there. Do you see them? Hi, Grammy. Anyway, um, cheers to you. Cheers. And cheers to you. Happy Moscow mules. Happy Friday. Happy fam time. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Good morning everyone and happy Saturday. I just came downstairs because my mom has this amazing spread for Liz and I for breakfast. So we have some donuts and fruit and I wanted to show you guys all the details because I know you always love my mom's spread. Also, I just woke up so I apologize for my voice, but we have this adorable quilt. It's kind of giving me Love Shack fancy vibes. And then these really cute napkins, which are also kind of giving me Love Shack vibes. And they go really nicely with the quilt, especially to layer on top. So both of these will be linked down below. Some plates, we have some strawberries, a big thing of cherries in one of these bowls that I will find and leave a link for you guys. Um, silverware, gold silverware, and then we have all of these different donuts. She even got like pink and like purple donuts to go with the quilt and the whole color scheme. So cute. This, I'm pretty sure, is from Serena Lily, and then this is just a pedestal that she put on top of it to layer. Over here, we have this tray. I even love, I think this is a fake flower. Yeah. No, is it? Yeah, this is fake. Um, hydrangea. Um, these glasses are from Anthropology, and this carafe is from Anthropology, and I don't know where that's from, but these we actually gave to my mom for like a birthday thing recently. So um, I love the pink glasses as well. It goes with everything. So we have some cranberry juice and then some orange juice. And then over here we have our four white mugs. We have these adorable stirs and they have these bees on the front, I'm pretty sure. And then we have these um, adorable lights that are, they light up when you touch them. We got these in Palm Beach. I think I've shown them before. They're such a cute accessory and I just think they're the coolest thing. These two large lanterns are usually on our island. Um, I think they're also from Serena and Lily. So I am so excited. This was completely unexpected and I, my mom hasn't done this brand in a minute, but I love showing you guys because they're so fun and a lot of these things you can buy online and if you wanted to recreate certain parts of it or just hang on to the inspiration if you have a party coming up, I always think it's fun. So happy Saturday, everyone. I'm gonna take you guys along for the rest of our day and everything that we get up to. Okay, we're enjoying our coffee and donuts out on the porch. It is such a beautiful day out. Look how nice it is. We're probably gonna go and, you know, 
bop around, have some adventures outside, but we're starting with the donuts. All right, guys, so we are in the car. We just parked. We're going to Erie and Anchor to drop off Elizabeth's key, and she's gonna pick up a present because she's done working there for the summer, and so she gets a little present, which is so cute. Yeah. Then we're gonna go get um, some coffee. So we just went into Erie and Anchor. Liz got a gift. I got a little something as well. I know. We'll open that in the car, and now we're gonna go get some coffee. We just got some iced coffee, and then we, um, large iced coffees from our favorite coffee shop. Hi, okay. cutie. We realized that it's market in the park, park today. So we're gonna go check it out. We're walking to see what's going on. It's like a little farmer's market So we're just drinking our coffee went to Erie and Anchor and we have Elizabeth TikTok, TikTok queen We just got back after our coffee and stuff and then we opened the gifts from Erie and Anchor This is what Elizabeth got I wanted to show you guys because I thought you'd really enjoy it It's this adorable. Is this like a jewelry holder? Okay from Mark and Graham and um, Micah personalized it with EC which is perfect because I can also use it Okay outfit of the night you guys we all just got ready and we're going to our favorite restaurant Which is right by our house that we always go to I'm sure you guys um, Know it by now because I show it so often but we're going there tonight for the last time this summer um, Me Elizabeth and my parents so this top I'm wearing this yellow blouse which is from Nordstrom It was actually part of the anniversary sale. I think it's beyond darling. I've actually posted in it before so you might have seen it um and then i just have on my little van cleef big pearls watch normal jewelry this little person valentino i just took the strap off white pants and then my shoes are from zara i'm so excited to go to dinner maybe gonna get like a prosecco or an aperol spritz or something like that but i will see you guys there dinner spot we're here at our favorite place we're sitting right on the water i wanted to come over and show the pretty view we just got some drinks i got a lovely glass of prosecco we are all here hi dad hello Hi mom. Hi Elizabeth. Everyone cheers to the last dinner of summer. So cute. And we're out in a beautiful spot. We got a great seat tonight, which is so fun. I think I showed you guys the view over there, but matches my outfit. Her drink matches her outfit. Absolutely. It's, what is it? Pomegranate and and who knows? With well, like a fruit salad on top. <laughs> it's a little two gotta, in one. Gotta get my fruit in somehow. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna have dinner and then I'll show you guys when I get my food. Okay, we just got some zucchini blossoms as an appetizer. These are our literal favorites. My favorite. And they're so good. They're so good. Okay, I got steak. I got filet. It's so, it looks amazing. Snapper. Mimo. Snapper. Okay, and then we finished off with some chocolate gateau, a little ice cream, some decaf coffee. I love their mugs. And Dad and I are sharing this, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. We just got back from dinner and we all were in a food coma. Some zucchini blossoms yep. with bread. Then we had I a, had a salad. I had three pieces of bread. I had two. You? Two. But I was you had, right you had a bat. full zucchini blossom. Yeah. Line. And then um, we had we all had salads, which were good. I didn't really finish mine because there was a lot of salads. Then I had a full filet and then full I had filet some bites of your snapper, which was really good. And then I had some bites of meatloaf. And uh, we had some decaf coffee, but I'm, I'm, in bed. I'm beginning to think that it was regular coffee. <laughs> I had regular coffee yesterday. Yeah, and that I was, keep dancing. You said that, and I was like, I, so And then weird. it cooled down, and I gulped it down in one sip. <laughs> yeah. And I, I turned it on, and I go, iced coffee. <laughs> I was like, what? And it was like 9.30. <laughs> He's like, you're so weird. That is, that's so weird. You would ice copy it. 10 it was just, no, it was hot coffee that had cooled down so much. Yeah. I, had a I was dancing. You're putting ice <laughs> You're You gotta put it down. She's a runner. She's a track star. She don't run away when it get hard. <laughs> I don't know what that works. So Claire and Connor in Charleston be bopping around looking like they're living their best life. They're so cute. And the pictures that we keep getting sent from them are so flipping cute. I could it's like die. I could combust. I could yeah, I could combust. Last night was so wild. <laughs> you did have Who a was I last night. I don't know. You were out of control. John and I just like went for it. Wait, explain what happened. So I went to my friend's, Su her name's Susu. We went to her grad party and John and I didn't know anyone. Like we knew like some girls that I went to high school with, but like, you know, like John, it was really just John and I on right. our own. And all of a sudden they like started doing these dances and everyone knew them. And John and I were just like hopping like He started a conga line at one point. You were in the middle of the conga line. And then I line. jumped into the middle of the conga line. He was like, what kind of cheese is this? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. He was like, who catered? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Funny girl. Thought a dead body was being dragged out, but it was, or like some sort of, I thought somebody was gonna like pop out of this 
thing, yeah. and it was just balloons. Oh John, my god. We both clutched each other, we both thought it was someone. Yeah, because that's what you bring out at a party. <laughs> the part where the body comes out. <laughs> Did you see that? It was on is the it Jeffrey? <laughs> is that, is that Wait, a what is it called when it's like at a wedding and you have like a, um, like at Perry's wedding and they had like the steps in the very beginning. It was like a piece of paper. Not like an invitation, but like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> the save the date? No, no, no. Like, what you are you talking about? <laughs> the church <laughs> yeah and everyone waved like the no. <laughs> what are you talking about i'm talking about when you go to church <laughs> The program, the program. program. So I was saying, anyway, that none of that made sense, and then I just couldn't remember what it was called. There were also professional dancers, and I, I like this kid started dancing, and I was like, "Wow!" Like he was like literally twelve. I was like, "Wow!" He could like really dance, and then he was like a fully was paid he, dancer. He, what was he on? USA Dance Team. <laughs> and then John like, was like, "Let's go!" No, John could take him. No, John, John could take him. John could take him. He was like, "Hit it out of the park." What? We're talking. We're about. vlogging. Mom said that the Alabama recruitment is like out of control. Mm -hmm. The Rush Bama TikTok, I a, yeah. I have a bug bite on my bed days so. tomorrow. Bid days tomorrow. And yeah. Are you following one person in particular? It's just it's my just entire everyone. for you page. It's like every single video. How many girls are there? There's like thousands. thousands. No. You make brackets. Like one girl got dropped and she on press night and she just told everyone it's out of control. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Are you sitting in like I was at a beehive or <laughs> I was um sitting under like like a uh <laughs> like, like, I can't remember anything. Like the thing that Julian Dan are putting in their house. What's that called? A pergola? A pergola. This pergola was covered, so I don't know what you call that. Like maybe a pavilion. A pavilion. And this bug was just attacking me. We hadn't lit the candles yet. Started my day with a bagel sandwich and some errands, and then I got ready for my friend's grad party in the evening, which was such a blast. Fun. It was amazing. There were mocktails in every color, which all matched my dress. A fantastic cake. We danced in a huge circle. There were even professional dancers there. The dessert spread was impeccable, and my friend John and I stayed until the last moment. She does a, a plug for her own TikTok. Go follow her on TikTok. Also follow me on TikTok because we're both pretty octave. You've like grown really fast very quickly didn't see it coming like it was just one you know what i knew it. i i saw it coming because the people here always want you to post stuff mm. mm -hmm. and so it's just another platform totally to get the name to get the Absolutely. word out Absolutely. to get the word out to everyone Absolutely. to just get your message your brand mm. Mm. yeah are you still <laughs> pulling it out why do <laughs> You could have gotten it on YouTube by now. I had to log in. What kind of your information are you filling out? It looks like you're on a forum. I was. Signing. I'm looking for. I. This is a new computer. Should you close? Go, go, close my door. go close my door. She's a runner. She's a Oh my god. Elizabeth, you're. What? Oh my god, your sound is so good. <sighs> no, I don't want this version. I'm just like confused because I have the same computer, this but I feel like your sound stunning sound system. It's like surround sound. Why am but I? Why Mac. did you get Sonos like on your computer? I'm, <laughs> I'm so Thanks tempted to set this up and just start dancing. <laughs> Guys, look how well I can do this. Oh my gosh! You've always had limber <laughs> the shoulders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta dance. Prop the wait where I want to put it up here. Do it right there. Oh, this is better. <laughs> this will never see the light of day. I will never pose this. You know what? If I had stuck with it, I could have been a ballerina. <laughs> stuck with what? My arches are so high. <laughs> Oh, 
has made for you. Put a ray, put a ray. <laughs> Disappear. <laughs> Dead eyes. <laughs> Six minutes of us doing this. <laughs> okay, guys, we have <laughs> completely cut you off. We're going to get ice coffee. I was just having like a, like a serious moment, like, heart like, to heart really, with like, me. She's talking about something questions. very important, and I just like whip out my phone. <laughs> anyway, okay, hey guys. I'm like, hey guys, I don't actually have time for this conversation, but um, oh my god, oh my I just tripped. <laughs> So uh, we are going to get, going to get iced coffee Yay. from the coffee shop, and then we're gonna go back, make up for a walk, taking a bike ride. This is one of our favorite views. The water's a little choppy today, but it's still so nice out. Going down this path, everyone's behind me. It's just lovely. Biking around some more, having so much. It's a beautiful day. Hi, Ebeth. Hello. 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 <laughs> wow, what a day it's been. So it's almost 5.30. I had to hop on here and talk to you guys to give you an update and to just share the ending of the summer. I don't want to talk too loudly because I don't want Elizabeth to hear me because I don't want her to get upset. So I am about to leave for the summer. This is the last day that we're staying here. We're driving back tonight, Sunday evening, because Elizabeth and I leave Tuesday. Tomorrow we're gonna be staying at home, taking everything home for the summer, packing, getting ready for school. And tonight we're going out to dinner with my grandparents. They're taking us out to dinner um, at our country club at home, just as like a last hurrah, end of summer type thing. But this is what I'm wearing. I just changed and got ready. I kind of tucked this in in the front a little bit. This top is from, the blouse is from Avara. My white linen pants are from J. Crew. My little heels are from Target, you guys have seen that, and then I just like literally loaded up on jewelry because I have to take it all home anyway, and that way it won't get like, I have it on, so I'm not gonna lose it. Most of the stuff I took home last week, but um, I still had some things here from the weekend and just stuff that I didn't bring back. Didn't bring any bags, I have my one MZ Wallace bag, I'm bringing home a robe that I'm taking to school, that's my new robe. I loaded up my Louis Vuitton, I have my Dob Kids computer iPad, and then everything else I literally just put in a white trash bag because that's all I can bring. So everything in the closet is pretty much cleared out. If you guys remember, this thing was like packed with all my clothes this summer. I do leave a few things up here. Like all this stuff has been up here for years, like July 4th stuff. A few blouses I know I'm gonna wear next summer. So that's all good. My bathing suits stay here. Um, I really cleared out all of this stuff. Again, just a few tops will stay here. Um, like summer clothes, summer. Oh, actually I need to bring this home. Oh my gosh, I needed all this. Wow, okay, glad I checked here gonna take these as well so leaving some summer shoes just a few tops and then like i just have pajamas that i just leave up here you know when things just like remind you of a place this is all giveaway up here so my mom's gonna like take care of that when we go back to school and then right here is also giveaway but then i just leave all these long dresses up here because they're like fully summer if we go somewhere in the winter time like warm i'll come back and get them but um yeah everything is cleared out of my closet Eliza cleared her closet out saying goodbye to my room love this room I mean this is not even literally where we live but this is just such like a special place for me so at the end of the summer I always get sad um, but everything's like took all the stuff away next to my nightstand and of course saying goodbye to my balcony for the summer which I love sitting out here that's my parents bedroom um, and this beautiful view that I always get to wake up to so sad but it's always gonna be here next summer and maybe in the fall we'll come back and say hi so yeah just everything's getting cleared out making sure that we lock everything my parents are literally coming back up like next week with Claire and her friends but Elizabeth and I like have the majority of stuff so we have to make sure that it's all ready and then this is the purse I'm taking tonight to dinner this is my clip so I'm gonna go carry the rest of the stuff down and load it up into our car as always it was an amazing summer love it up here so we're gonna go enjoy dinner going to dinner hi we're having some a bottle of champagne our grandpa ordered in celebration hi cheers to you so fun elizabeth and i just came outside to walk around and figured i'd show you guys we just finished up dinner and dessert it was so delicious ebeth where are you i am right here hi I, i'm always near you i know you are yeah. the pants that i wore oh yeah i'll show your full outfit um where did i wear this well, you had, to, let me see straight on. No, no it was the pink version in Chicago, and then we got the blue version. Yeah. So, 
that's really cute on you. Zara, Zara super fun. Never be able to find them. No, literally never be able to find them. So yeah, we're gonna go back inside again. We just finished dinner. We had a lovely last dinner. Before school? There were a lot of people here for like going back to school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like kind of the last last dinner vibes, so. Okay, I'm gonna show Joyce's outfit um, post dinner. She's wearing a lovely white dress with your shoes. Where's your dress and shoes from? The store. <laughs> Yeah. You were, but you were red for Miami, right? Okay, we're leaving right now. We're getting our cars. Leaving post dinner, walking down these treacherous stairs. And yeah. everyone's getting. We all took three separate cars, which is so counterproductive. Me literally curling my hair for nothing. Where's the curl? I like it. I like There's the a natural wave. The curls. I, th I think your wave looks good. Our poppy's here. Poppy's here. <laughs> Everyone's here for the sunset. There are so many cars. This sun is so insane right now. Wow. Lovely. How pretty. That's so pretty. It's packed, everyone's coming to see the sunset. So I'm gonna end off this video, I'm in Elizabeth's room. We're just prepping stuff for tomorrow. We came back from our lake house. We had a lovely dinner with our grandparents, which was just celebratory. And then we kind of drove around, came home, brought everything up from the car. Um, I'm about to hop in the shower and get ready for bed. And then tomorrow will just be a full day of organizing, packing, running last minute errands, everything like that. But I realized that I haven't mentioned in this video and I want to end it off so I can start a new video. We did in fact get my Instagram back, which is so amazing. The moment I heard about it, I posted on my Instagram and I've just been responding to DMs all day long, um, but I forgot to include it in this vlog. So it was such a huge relief. So I woke up this morning. I, I will tell you some of the backstories to what happened. So I woke up this morning to an email from Instagram and it basically was like, we've gotten a request to reset your password. So everyone was on the porch, clicked the link, and all I had to do was enter in my new, pa well, I shouldn't say all I had to do. I'll give some backstory. But basically this morning, the way I got it back, they gave me a link to reset my password. I didn't have to put my old password in. I just put in two new passwords, confirmed it, and then I was able to log back into my account. But it took about a week to get it back, and we finally got it back because we did a lot, actually. We reached out to many different people who had a connection at Facebook, and then this one guy that my dad knows um, owns like a private company that does a lot of work in cybersecurity. So this guy, worked with the FBI and they had a contact at Instagram and I did submit an IC3 complaint which is an internet crime complaint like through the FBI I filled out a whole thing with all the details um, so I recommend doing that I know some of you guys were commenting like have you submitted it to the police if they were like blackmailing so we did submit it to them the guy who worked in cybersecurity ended up having a contact at Facebook and so they were like vouching on my behalf so at one point we had four people working on this um, and then we talked to them a few nights ago and turns out like my email was for sale they found it on the dark web and apparently like you can auction off people's like emails and if you know influencers have huge accounts then if they hack into them they will sell them on this like dark web so these guys were scanning looking for my username they found my email which is like alarming but the m minute we got hacked we changed my email doesn't matter basically what I'm doing is I'm I got a whole new email on a totally different server that's really secure and I'm just in the process of transferring everything so really the only collateral damage here was my email which is like I don't even care um and then I reset the password and I got back in and I we started screaming and we were on the porch and you guys know like at our lake house we live on a lagoon and so my grandparents were sitting outside and they heard us screaming and then they immediately called I'm pretty sure the whole neighborhood heard us screaming um none of them were phased none of them no one <laughs> that's funny Liz. Really? that's funny okay okay yeah like they're screaming again so I had a great day I was in the best mood I posted a whole like catch-up recap obviously I've still kept you up to date here on YouTube but I wanted there there's still a big audience on my Instagram that doesn't necessarily follow me on YouTube or TikTok, so it was just really nice to get back, and it was 
perfect timing because it was right before school so I don't even have to worry about it anymore so um, this was all for my dad's efforts it was he was working on this all week and was amazing and my whole family but mostly my dad so thank you so much Jerry um, that's kind of the backstory with that so definitely go follow me back on Instagram I'm just so happy to be back okay that was my update for today thank you guys so much for watching this video it was quite a roller coaster of emotions I will say we were up we were down all around, <laughs> um, all around. and now I'm in Elizabeth's room we're just like making some lists of extra things to remember I'm going to get ready for bed I'm gonna to go to bed early it's only like 9 30 so we're gonna to go to bed um, and I will see you guys in my next video bye everyone